Hi, I'm Sonia Goins. Local police departments have their hands full trying to protect their cities while also helping Minneapolis to keep the peace doing protests. Thousands of people continue to march and call for justice after George Floyd, a black man, was killed doing an arrest by a white Minneapolis police officer. The protests are mostly peaceful, but at night, rioting and vandalism have occurred. Some of the violence spread to surrounding suburbs like Brooklyn Center. This was a scene Thursday night as looters targeted Shingle Creek Crossing. The vandalism, the burglaries, the, the thefts, um, I believe we made three or four arrests Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Over the weekend, Brooklyn Center Police beefed up their security. They also had three officers who participated in a mobile regional response team to provide security during protests. The team is spearheaded by the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office. Most of the tasking was uh, associated with being rear guard for other units that were conducting operations just to make sure that uh, everyone was able to stay as safe as possible. Meanwhile in Crystal, things were quiet on Sunday, but that changed after the curfew went into effect. The city had 12 suspicious traffic stops and a burglary at Target. We got a call from uh, Target security of an alarm that was going off. Deputy Chief Brian Hubbard says four men burglarized the retailer, prying plywood off windows to get in. Sounds like the loss was uh, maybe two pieces of electronics. They. Uh, Target had secured most of their electronics and uh, they didn't have much time in there before the officers were there. Crystal police arrested one man, a Brooklyn Park resident. They say they will continue with the extra patrols. For more information on this story, check out ccxmedia.org. Sonia Goins, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.